Hey, what's up everybody? Ennis here with Jim, and we are here to do what we can to help provide those suffering from anxiety some support and relief as two people who previously suffered from anxiety and panic attacks. Today, we wanna to talk about one of the most intense and scary symptoms of anxiety and panic attacks, and that is depersonalization. Depersonalization, the fogginess, the feeling of disconnect, the feeling like you're walking down the street but that you don't even feel like you're controlling yourself or understanding what's going on. Yeah, depersonalization can be a really, really weird thing to talk about. It, if someone has not gone through it, they may not really relate to this. It's a feeling of uh, haziness, like, like you can't really think that clearly. It's a feeling of not being yourself where it's almost uh, you wake up and you feel like you're a different person. And this feeling of depersonalization can happen in a number of different ways for, for each individual person. And the reason that it kind of uh, manifests in these unique ways, because it relates to your nervous system. That's actually the real cause of depersonalization. Your nervous system is overstimulated. Now you might be wondering, why does the nervous system have that much power over my experience of reality? Why does that influence how I feel so much? Well, your nervous system is literally the filter through which you experience everything. It's, it's your sensory apparatus. So when your nervous system is overstimulated and on the fritz, so to speak, you end up having a distorted and slightly altered uh, sense of reality. That's why everything feels a little bit off. It, it's because it is. And by doing certain things to calm down the nervous system, it can take you uh, much closer to feeling more grounded, more uh, in control of your experience, and just feeling more normal in day-to-day -day life. I used to suffer from depersonalization after maybe a few days of heavy drinking or drug use. And then also when I would just go through heavy states of, of panic and fear, um, I could tell my nervous system was stimulated. And if I would have something like coffee to stimulate it even further, I just felt completely disconnected. Or if I was in a situation where I was scared having to speak in front of people or be around somebody that I was nervous around and that anxiety would just exacerbate in the feedback loop, I just felt completely disconnected and I, it almost felt like a way of my body separating me from that horrible feeling of fear and panic. So Jim and I have been through panic attacks and anxiety and depersonalization for many years of our life. Uh, we've overcome it step by step in our own different ways and now we're helping people do the same. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch and reach out to us, we would love to help you. We've been really reaching out to a lot of people in this time of, of shutdown, of lockdown. There's a lot of people going through anxiety and panic attacks, and depersonalization. People who have never experienced it before are experiencing it for the first time. And if that's you, or if you're just kind of struggling in general and you want to talk to somebody, feel free to reach out. We'd love to have a chat with you. We'd love to see how we can help you. And it's no obligation, no strings attached. It's just a way to us to give back to the community that has really helped us so much. Just message us here on Facebook and we'll be happy to set up a call either by phone or over Facebook chat or whatever's convenient for you. We're flexible. But really reach out. You can be feeling a hell of a lot better and you deserve to feel better. Be well, my friend. Hope you're doing good in this time and we, we want to see you soon. Take care.